it can be pretty bad. I didn't, did not feel great about uh, that experience, you know, being drugged and just, but it never crossed my mind that was even possible. Hi, my name is Jason. I'm here to tell you about my experiences in Ukraine. Um, I was robbed of $11,000. Um, this man targeted me on the street. He followed me into a store. He uh, interrupted me, spoke with me, told me his troubles about, um, he told me he was waiting at the airport for a woman that never came for him. He waited for eight hours is what he told me. Um, so I felt bad for him, but I continued my, my day. I went, I went shopping. When I came back out of the store, he interrupted me again, asked me if I could uh, maybe have a drink with him because he had nothing to do in, in Kiev while he was here. Um, while I was reluctant to do that, it wasn't really interesting to me. I was being polite, as, as people from the U.S. are often. I exchanged numbers with him. Um, this man called me that day. I told him I was busy. Called me the next morning. Told him I was busy. He finally called me at a moment where I was walking down the street, so I agreed to have a you know a quick drink with him just to be done with it. When I, I did that, I met him, and he... Um, he uh, drugged me, basically, put something in my drink that uh, incapacitated me about a half an hour afterwards. Previous to that, we had talked about um, the accommodations in Kiev, and he was interested in seeing my apartment. And uh, I agreed that I would let him see inside in, in the, uh, the thought that he may want to rent the same apartment when he comes back for another trip. I thought it was harmless, um, you know, small, un unsuspecting man. Um, so he drugged me. Um, I agreed to take him back, show him very quickly. Um, as I was walking back, I became you know, very ill, became um, you know, feeling uh, more or less like I was uh, intoxicated. Um, I recall getting in, into the apartment, showing him around for just a few seconds, and I lost consciousness. When I, when I awoke, this man stole uh, all my money. He took my Ukrainian money, my U.S. money. Um, thankfully, he did not take my passport, but uh, my tip to uh, been traveling here is to be very careful. You know, in, in the U.S., we take safety for granted and security, and here you really have to uh, pay attention to uh, lots of different things. Lots of, uh, lots of people are looking to uh, take advantage of you, and uh, it can be pretty bad. I didn't, did not feel great about uh, that experience. You know, being drugged and just, but that never crossed my mind that was even possible. Um, another tip I have for you is don't bring uh, credit or, or, or debit cards uh, in Ukraine. It's uh, safe often, but my experience was I used it to buy uh, airline tickets. Um, the only time I used my card here, um, so I bought some tickets and the next day my card was charged with somebody bought a stereo from another country. So it uh, only takes one time for someone to have all your information and they will use it. Hope that helps. Um, be very aware, be very street smart, um, and uh, don't get taken advantage of. Good luck. Cool. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much, Jason, for You're welcome. yakking with me here and for imparting, you know, sharing your experiences. Yeah, well, thank you for the help. You're very welcome. Appreciate everything. You're very welcome. <laughs> And I'm glad you, you met Jenya, and uh, I wish you guys all the best in your future. Yeah, I'm very awesome, optimistic about it. She's great. Yeah. What about coming back? When are you coming back? Um, I'd like to soon. We haven't had that discussion. I'm still here mm -hmm. for a couple more days. Um, it's likely maybe in a month. Yeah, sooner or sooner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it's an important point, you know, that uh, guys need to know that they have to come back and water the flower. Sure. The more often, the better, right? Yeah. Uh, some, some clients can't come back for six months, and I always mm -hmm. caution guys, you know, that's a long, a long, long distance relationship, it right? right? Yeah. And it's tough to keep that flower. Yeah, for, if you're, for you're both putting your lives on hold for it, it's, it's important to keep in contact. Yeah, yeah. So you go home and you'll be in regular Skype and Viber and daily, think, daily touches. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I want to see her again soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, Thanks. Jason. Yeah. Take care. <clears throat>